Well, what is up, everyone? We have a lot to talk about right now on At The Close. We're going to talk chips and cannabis. That is going to be the theme of the next, this next half hour. Chip stocks are ripping all day. Cannabis stocks have been ripping for the last half hour on a report that a vote is scheduled in the U.S. House of Representatives next week. A vote, a bill that would potentially legalize cannabis if it were to pass and then, of course, pass the Senate and then go to the president. But um, cannabis stocks ripping off that news. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about Uber. Um, not much in the way of earnings tonight. You know, I closed out my calendar because there's nothing important tonight. So uh, that's going to be it. We're going to talk about tickers you want to discuss in the chat. So drop your tickers for us there. And uh, here we go. Smash that like button. Let's start the show. All right, it is time for pre-market prep at the close. Three consecutive highs opened, matched yesterday's low, and then once it took out there, that's all the breakout momentum traders needed. Joel, how's it going? Good afternoon, Mr. Israel. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm sorry, David. I forgot about Neo. You're right. What do you Neo mean reports, about Neo? Neo reports earnings tonight. That's the one interesting one. I, I and I knew I knew that too. I closed out my calendar. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll remember Neo reports, and I forgot about Neo. But is that we'll the same about, guy? Was that the same guy I was asking about it yesterday? No, we'll talk, we'll talk about Neo at some point, but okay. Up, right, you know, S&P futures up fifty-four uh, and a quarter handles. Uh, can we make a new high close to this rebound? That's the question. 4505 is what we got to hit or close above current high 07 and a quarter. It's been pretty much up, pretty much the the fade from the at the close show yesterday. If you were just buying what everyone was selling, you'd even take some heat off that 6 p.m. open. Uh, crude in the red by 349 and 111.45 uh, after trading up to 116.64. Gold, we talked about gold getting over 1950 and it's 14 bucks above it. So, boom, nice move here in the gold market. Silver, closer to 26 and 25. That's up 70 cents at 25.89. Bitcoin, joining the party, wants to get over 45.5, have another leg higher, up 2K. At 44,315. Ethereum futures, they're up $163 at $31,39. Now, Spencer, you you don't want me to go on another uh, chip and French onion uh, uh, like rant again, do you? You mentioned chips at the beginning of the show. Yeah, I mean, I love tortilla chips, but I love semiconductor chips more oh. because uh, NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, Apply materials, uh, 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 KLA, pretty much what's every going, huh? uh, Lamb Research, uh, Broadcom, pretty much the entire chip sector is trading up today. Wow! And uh, whew, where do, where do you want to start? I mean, with this, you want to well, start with in, in, Nvidia? Nvidia is the leader. Nvidia is up the most, right? Uh, it's funny because their investor day was yesterday, and or two days ago. Oh, two years ago. So yeah, maybe you're right. And uh, and it was quite. You're right. And it was quiet yesterday. And uh, today they're bi- they're buying up the whole uh, the whole industry. The whole industry. Uh, yeah. That actually it was the uh, the biggest loser of the S and P 500 index futures for two days in a row. Well, it's going to be at the top of the leaderboard today, up nine percent. Um, I can't say, you know, I talked to someone about this on the pre-market uh, prep plus show and, you know, just based on those two candles, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't too bullish. Uh, what I think though, is you got to be able to look both ways in this market. Uh, once this clear 272, uh, two highs at uh, uh, 152 and 238. So, once it cleared that, you you had no business, no business being short that thing. Uh, big move, probably getting back over half of the move now. Triple monthly bottom. Wow. And they were even nice to my Intel. You said that was a couple days ago. Look at my smelly intel Uh Boom. Filling a gap from here. Uh, oh, now I can't chase it up here. I didn't realize it had... 
Wow, what a marge shot for Intel, but uh, still the pig, still the under performer. But that that then you know that um, uh, Nvidia threw a little shade their way. That that was good. So uh, I'm I'm happy that the Intel is moving up. Uh, Micron, boom! Ooh, sleepy. What's going on with Micron here? That that's not joining the party. Uh, Triple D will be happy about AMD. Uh, I heard. I think Investors Business Daily put my recommendation on that or anything. I don't know anybody reads that archaic newspaper anymore, but um, that had a triple top. It was just under 118. It took that out. Nice move for AMD. Uh, what else do we got for uh, for chip stocks? Uh, Teradyne, hmm, that's trying to get back. Uh, that could, if it clears one, what, 122 and a half here. Uh, what else do we have here for? Uh, uh, I, I mean, all of them. Are, are there any chip stocks that are trading down today? That's the question. I don't think there are. Let me look quickly. No, I don't see any. Um, yeah, well, uh, yeah, there's some smaller ones, but none that we've talked about on this show before. Okay. Just a broad-based rally. Just a broad-based chips rally. Right. Um, and, and yeah, there was the, the news was out yesterday, right? NVIDIA is looking at uh Intel for uh as a foundry. That was yesterday. Yeah. Like, it was middle of the day yesterday, right? So I don't know. I mean, just just a broad based rally. I don't know. They're I mean, back. Yeah. Chips are back. And it was funny because you're right. There was the investor day was a day or two ago. They were testifying on the hill and uh, that really didn't do anything. A little bit of a delayed effect, but uh, uh, definitely uh, S&P's up a little over a percent. And uh, as I said, 9%. Big move for NVIDIA. Uh, it goes on streaks, baby. And this is the start of a winning streak. So I don't think I'll be standing in the way of this one. No. Uh, so the other big mover of the day is uh, cannabis. As of about 40 minutes ago, when news broke that a uh, a bill, the Marijuana Opportunity Reinvestment and Expungement Bill, the More or the More Act, um, is going scheduled for a floor vote on the House uh, next week, which is uh, exciting because the last time this happened in December 2020, the bill uh, passed in the House. And everyone pretty much expected it to die in the Senate, which it did. Uh, but that was with a Republican Senate, and we don't have a Republican Senate now. So there is thoughts that maybe this bill, I mean, it passed the House once. It could probably pass it again. Maybe it goes to a Senate, and maybe it passes there. And then we're, then we're off to the races. So you can look at any cannabis stock you want in the last half hour. Canopy growth. Um, Tilray, Grogen, MSOS is the ETF that I like, uh, but they are all trading higher here in the last 30, 40 minutes. All right. Well, you give them to me and I'll, uh, I'll run them down for potential resistance. So I know you, all right. Uh, C- CGC is going to be the big one here. Uh, I believe, let me confirm this, but I believe it is still the largest cannabis stock by market cap. Um, uh, uh-huh. let me, uh, let me make sure. That's correct. That's still that's still accurate. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, it's still largest by market cap. Anyway, CGC, how are we looking? Uh, not bad. Uh, you hit just under eight, and you backed off. So seven to eight. I'm not seeing anything really a roadblock at eight. You know, maybe someone just a short term trader took some profit. You're at seven seventy. Uh, two day move could be an effect here. Um, uh, I would say uh, this so the high right here is seven ninety seven. I'd say I'd be a little nervous if I was Londis if it didn't make quick work of this eight twenty three high and work its way closer to eight fifty and nine. Uh, but uh, just probably a little bit of a expanded range day for it, and some short term traders uh, stepping up at eight. But uh, if this if this doesn't clear eight tomorrow, get bit above eight, then it just might be uh, you know just kind of 
sell the news kind of uh, event for uh, these marijuana stocks. But that's CGC. Uh, Tilray. Tilray had a move yesterday, right? Yeah. Uh, because, uh, because Cray, Cray, well, it was, I think it was two days ago now, but. Had to move, gave it back, double bottom today, 680. Uh, good level. That at least coincides with another high. It's it, the current high is 683. Right? Is that it? 683. Oh, wow. I don't know. No, 680 here, 680 here. That's a better number. That's your double top. That's what you got to clear. Work your way into the $7 handle for Tilray. I don't know why I thought Canopy was your largest. By market cap, Scott's Miracle Grow, which is, That's not, nice. I know it's almost cheating because they do so much more than cannabis. But Jesus uh, Murphy, that stock can't catch a break. Uh, it's not even up today. Well, Man. no, but it's up in the last hour, which is all that matters. Yeah, um, uh, it's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, IIPR, which is your REIT. Uh, that's quiet. Uh, what, what what jumps out to me here? Da, 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 da. I'm looking there. Doesn't everyone that has, wants to smoke pot have pot now? I mean, is it really such a big deal that it is going to be legalized? I mean, well, nationally, it is a big deal for the for the companies because it basically like opens the door for for financing and for capital. Like right now, you can't list on the New York Stock Exchange or the Nasdaq in the U.S. if you if your company touches the plant, you can't do it. I mean, well, is everyone going to start smoking more weed and they need to grow more weed? I no, mean, but it, it gives them access to the to the and the financial infrastructure okay. of, of this country, which is what we've been waiting on. That's um, what we need. So cannabis is all trending up on that. Let's see what happens next week. Let's talk Apple here, Joel. Did, did you see this headline? It really upset me today from Apple. Apple is reportedly experimenting with a new a new model where basically it's going to be a hardware subscription model. So I guess you pay a recurring subscription for your iPhone as opposed to like owning your iPhone outright. You can pay a little, whatever it is, 15 bucks a month or whatever they're going to charge. Um, really? Yeah, they're going to experiment with this, which, which I mean. Can you still buy your iPhone instead of doing that? Or I'm, get- I'm assuming so, but. This is the way we're going now because because nobody owns movies now. It's all on Netflix and HBO and Disney Plus. Nobody owns the music. It's all on Spotify. And now no one's going to own their own hardware because they're going to be paying recurring subscriptions to our, our overlords at Apple. I oh I I don't I I don't like that either. I yeah. want to own my own phone. I don't want to. <laughs> wow. Hmm, that's interesting. The subscription model. I don't know what they're planning on doing, uh, but I will tell you that you need to go and you need to look at the last time Apple has had a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight day winning streak. That's eight days in a row. I don't know. Can it keep going? Sure. I mean, eight, nine, ten. Uh, but boy, oh boy, double top here at 173. You're knocking on the door there. You're currently above it. Uh, my next target, what I would hold on, I wouldn't be, I see the high at 175.48, but I would just respect these, these four highs here. Uh, and that's really, let's call it 176 because that encompasses all those highs. So that'd be another two or three bucks, uh, up there. That would be good. Haven't seen Apple had uh, quite a winning streak like that. I, we failed to uh, we failed to mention yesterday. Um, my buddy over at uh, Wedbush, Daniel Lives, mm-hmm. uh, spoke bullish on this yesterday. And so, uh, thank you, Thad Thatter. Apple went up ten days in a row in November. Uh, so he got it kick started. This is kick starting again. Spoozer, you know, you're you're you know they're buying that. Indexers are having to buy it. So. Big old move. Let's see if it continues. Um, I, I, I liked what uh, what Hot Dog Jones said. Uh, you will own nothing and be happy. <laughs> That's a new one. Hot Dog Jones the yeah. third. Yeah, Hot Dog Jones the third. I uh, don't, or double I. I never. I uh, where's Hot Dog Jones one and I, Hot Dog I, Jones two? 
I don't know. Um, let's talk Uber here, Joel. Uh, that was your surprise story of the day. Yeah. Uh, that they're partnering up with the New York City taxis. I guess I guess they really do have a driver shortage if, if this is what they're resorting to. The, the more I thought about it, the more I realized, yeah, this is probably more of a driver shortage issue than anything else. Um, so we did, for whatever reason, um, for, the, for several years, Joel, the you know how like the Benzinga um you know we're on like press lists where we get press release all day long people send stuff to us um for whatever reason we we've been on the the press list for like the New York City uh, taxi union and they sent over a statement like like a few hours ago and they were basically like screw Uber <laughs> this this deal this deal sucks for us <laughs> so I don't quite know what's going on here what what happened with that. The, the, the taxi union, uh, I, I don't want to like misconstrue the statement, so let me bring it on. Let me actually read it for you right now, because okay. uh, it, it just came to Benzinga because they, for whatever reason, they, they, they were on their their news release list. Um, it's from the New York uh, Taxi Workers Alliance, uh, which I'm assuming. Oh, the NYTA. WA. Yeah. Well, where uh, is, yeah. Yeah. Basically, it came down to the fact that uh, I'm just going to read you the last sentence. If Uber and Curb think they can slide in with a payment structure that's broken for Uber drivers and piece it together on the backs of yellow cab drivers, they're in for a sobering surprise. Neither company will grow ridership without working out terms that work for drivers. We know who's in the driver's seat, and spoiler alert, it's not a venture capitalist. Uh, they don't seem particularly plussed with this deal. They were not, no, they don't. They're non-plussed, I would say. No, they uh, they definitely don't. But not hurting Uber. Uh, Uber. Uh, we looked. It never did get to the pre-market high. Uh, didn't try and pick a top in this one. Uh, but what we alerted our traders to was, hey, maybe I get a little sell-off off the open. Get within the range from yesterday. Uh, that's exactly what happened. Uh, you came down. Uh, the high from yesterday was 33.68. You got the 33.44, nice rebound. Can't make a new high of the session, uh, but did you know you got a chance to buy the, buy the dip here on a on a uh, on a gap fill? So that's good for Uber. Still a little disappointing we didn't take out the pre market high, but still having a good day. Uh, they're construing this as uh, good news for Lyft. L Y F T. They did hit that. Took it uh, a, a ways below the previous day's low. So if you did. If you got that, you had to hold on. I went through it by 40 cents, but now back up and traded over 39. So this is uh, it Lyft is, you know, really uh, underperforming, but it doesn't look like it's as, uh, as bad a news as, uh, you know, it first appeared this morning. I mean, you had spikes in, uh, you know, opposite directions and something, uh, you know, good for your pair traders if you could, uh, you know, put it on correctly. Uh, but that's uh, part of the reopening trade, I guess. Yeah. Uh, let's talk Neo here for a second. They do report earnings uh, tonight. I don't, the earnings themselves don't really matter as much as the month to month uh, sales and production numbers do. Um, because the earnings, the earnings will theoretically come with with the production scale up, so uh, they're pretty good. Neo uh, is about you know releasing mm-hmm. their numbers uh, in the first two days, two or three days of, of every month. So I imagine we'll hear from them next week about what they did in March. Uh, but how we, I have not looked at this stock for a hot second. Yeah, uh, someone asked me about this yesterday, and you know I talked about the double close area, uh, 2177, 2187. Uh, you didn't quite get to yesterday's high on the rally, but it looks like you got some people uh, a little bit, uh, you know, uh, buying into the report, perhaps not wanting to go short into the report. I have absolutely no idea how they're going to report or what kind of inventory numbers they're going to give. Uh, but man, that's a tough chart here. I just, if you clear 2260, I wouldn't worry about these other two highs here. Um, really between there's 2260, 2335, and then things open up closer to 25 bucks, uh, on a retreat. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you're going to get a gap fill in this. There's some charts I can look at and get a good feeling on, and this one ain't one of them. 
Um, let's talk about Costco. I saw it got some love. Actually, you can see it on the chart when it got love today on CNBC because that that was the bottom of the day right there. Um, but it, it turned off of some positive commentary there, I believe. Uh, this is but- tough. This is tough. Uh, 550, your rock solid support. That was your uh, your high uh, on Friday. You hit that. You got a nice bounce. Um, you still can't take out the 560 area. Uh, two highs right there, 560, 35, 560, 69. Didn't even get there today. Maybe we will. Uh, so I, man, oh, man. 560, uh, it opens up uh, to your next daily high. Uh, but for the monthlies, I mean, this is where you want to get. And, they, you know, this is this is three monthly highs in a row. So it, it's getting bit up here. 571.40, it looks like, is the all-time high. 571.49. So that's what you need for uh, a clean breakout in another major leg higher in Costco. Uh, Spoo's um, making uh, making just a, a beeline here for that double top of 14 yeah. and 14 even and 14.75. Yep. We are uh, still easily green in every sector today. We're probably going to close green across the board, I would presume, at this point. But, uh, yeah, we are back up to what, – what is that? With the, what's today? Today's Thursday. So Tuesday. Tuesday is high. We're right there. At least in the spy, we are right there. Uh, yeah. Well, the S and P's uh, looking for fourteen even. Yeah, that was your high from uh, yesterday, and then fourteen seventy five. That yeah. was the uh, high. That's been the high of the rebound here. We just need to close above oh five here uh, to establish a new high for the rebound here. So this That's... market not, not giving in. No, no, it is not. We took a one day breather and. Uh, Back on the train here. Let's uh, back on the horse, whatever, whatever mode of transport you want. Let's go to the chat, see what y'all are watching. Someone has to believe about Dollar General, DG. That's an inflation play, theoretically, right? Dollar store? I don't know. Not like, I mean, you line in the sand here uh, is, uh, I call it 219. Yesterday's low was 1982, went to, 1893 today. Uh, so you, you know, you undercut that low and you rallied. Uh, important to hold that. I um, mean, tomorrow's session, I just don't like the bar to the left on that because underneath that, you don't have much as far as daily lows go. And then, um, you know, your target uh, on the upsides, you know, you can just pick your daily highs. 2599 was yesterday's high, then 2984. Uh, kind of would like to see a break the string of lower highs too, uh, before you get you look for another leg higher. Uh, three lower highs in a row. Let's see if we can break that in tomorrow's session. All right. What else was the chat talking about? Chat was talking about. Well, here's a here's here's one I don't know. CNI. I don't know. Wait, why don't I? Is that I, um? Is that a? Let me see. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a railroad. Oh, yep. that's, why, that's why I don't know it because we don't talk about. We, I, I thought there was only three. There's C, there's CP, there's Kansas City, which is being bought, and then the other one, <laughs> Norfolk Southern. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently, there's. And then there's what about UNP? Oh yeah, that one. okay, fine. There's five, and but this is yeah. CNI. Anyway. Okay, so what one did they want to know about? CNI. C N I. Um, great, you know, good support. One thirty-two couldn't get there today. Uh, you take out, uh, boy, yesterday's high, right there. You want to see us get above one thirty-four forty? Um, that was uh, also uh, you had a one thirty-four high in November. So let's take that one. Yeah, we're above 134 here. So it looks like you're going to get a good, strong close here. Closing near the high. The only thing I can give you is the all time high at 136.22. And then if you want to drill down and see, uh, you know, during that month what the all time closing high uh, would be.
be, you know, would be, you know, a target, something to keep an eye on. It's probably making a new all-time closing high today. Uh, RJ, I, I think, uh, no, I, I thought I read that there were, there was a strike, but they came to an agreement. I don't know if it was CNI, but it was some, some railway was striking somewhere. And, um, I th- oh, it was CP. But I thought the CP workers came to. I thought they came to an agreement. I thought I read that. Am I am I making that up? I could I could be making that up. Um, what else here? Da, 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 da. Let's take a look at. Well, L. Clay Reed wants to know how high I think canopy growth is going to go. Man, it's so freaking hard. I don't like the any of the Canadian LPs because. Uh, they, they're having to buy their way into the U.S. market, and I'd rather go with the ones that are already here in the U.S., and the U.S. market is a thousand times the size of the, the Canadian market, so I, I don't like any of the CGC or Kronos or Tilray, none of that stuff. Uh, what about Alibaba? How is that? I mean, China has been quiet today. It's down. Baba's down slightly. Um, most of that damage is done off the open, but it's bounced for the last four, four hours or so. Uh, yeah. B A B A Baba Baba Quiet Range Man Gappy 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 Gapping all over the place. Uh I you know, I don't who knows how this thing's gonna trade overnight, but uh you had the pair of lows at one twelve and a half. Uh you took that out, went to one ten eighty two. Uh I would just be protective under that 110.82. Uh, you know, of course, if you come out with some bad news overnight, it turns and comes in much lower than that. Uh, but um, what was the high close for the rebound here? That was probably yesterday, 117.24. You didn't quite get there today. Wow, got to 124.11 yesterday. Probably filled this gap right here, right? Filled the gap. Uh, yep. Wow. 124.06 was this low. Uh, 124.11, that was a gap filled by the hair of your chinny chin chin. Uh, but tomorrow, my focus number uh, will be closing above 117.24. That was your high close for the rebound yesterday, and it was not revisited in today's session. One minute and change left in the session. Um, let's talk about the choo choo choo. Oh, you know, I have not actually looked at GME all day. How is GME doing? Oh, a good day, a good day for GameStop. AMC, yes, and well, no, it's down today, but well, no, nice it's, down from, it's down from the close, but it's up from the open. Looks like GameStop's days look a little bit better. Good day, uh, GameStop, uh, held that the previous look there, it came into the previous day's low. The Reddit guys were looking at their um, their uh, their their daily charts, and they bought the dip there. And uh, nice rally here, closing near the high of the session. Uh, new high on the rebound. It looks like one forty one to close yesterday. It looks like you're going to get that high at the same area. Uh, let's see if you can get back up to that one fifty uh, ninety three area. That was the high from yesterday. All right, we are 20 seconds into the uh, into the close here. We are going to close at the high of the day. We are going to close green in every single sector, which you'll love to see. Um, leaders today are uh, technology and uh, staples. I'm sorry, uh, communication. Technology and communication are your leading sectors today. Uh, but great to see Great to see uh, across the board. There's your right bell. up there, 14 and a quarter. We talked about the high from yesterday at 14 even, 1475. That was your high of the rebound. So keep an eye on the overnight. I didn't even have a number higher than that on my sheet. But uh, three highs in the same area, not much more you could ask for. So a uh, good day in the markets. Let's see uh, the way yesterday's close was faded. Uh, let's see if this close is faded or you just get that rip to the upside. All right, Joel. We'll catch you tomorrow, everyone. I will catch you tomorrow as well. We're going to end now. Go over to the latest Cannabis Insider Show. Man, do they have stuff to talk about. They got to talk about the uh, Cresco Columbia Care deal, but they got to talk about this headline about potential legalization in the House, maybe? Senate? 
Maybe I don't know. Those guys know more, normal, know way more about that than we do, and than I do. So I'm gonna be watching to see what they say about uh, this bill, what it means for uh, cannabis here going forward. So smash that like. I'll catch you tomorrow, and uh, that's it. Have a great rest of your day.